Good morning, spacemen. Welcome to Space Operations Delta. I'm Captain Collins and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today we're going to talk about upgrades and modules. What is the difference about them and how do you place them into your character? Before we start very quick, I stream on twitch.tv slash Captain Collins from Sunday to Thursday, No Man's Sky and other space related games. And here we are already in the exosuit to tell you something about the difference of upgrades and modules. So upgrades is something that you can buy from traders on a station like these traders here that sell you upgrades for your exosuit, your exocraft, your ship and your multi-tool. And modules is a different thing. Modules is something that you can install. That's uh, the technology you install by going in here. It's a building menu where you can build stuff that you acquired through the game already through some quests or have bought, for example, from the anomaly. There you can buy these uh, things for nanites or like I said, you just play the game and go through some storylines and then you can also acquire some of these modules. On the other hand, you have upgrades that do not show you exactly what they do at the start. So if we go to a merchant, then uh, this merchant will have some stuff that you can buy. And it's in four different grades. Starts with C, B, A and S. S is uh, the highest one. There's also another one which is sold from Black Marketeers. It's an X version and this version can literally be anything it's it can range from c to s can be very good can be also very bad it depends on uh, whatever luck you have with these modules but here we have up to the s class modules which you can just buy for your nanites and then install after buying in your spacesuit in your exosuit you have the general and the technology tab like also in your starship, you have also general and technology tabs. In your multi-tool, only a general tab. And in every single tab, you can put up to three different upgrades. So these buyable upgrades, you can put three of them into somewhere. So for example, we have the scanner in here, which has three S class upgrades. If we put another upgrade in, it doesn't matter which tier that one is, it can be a C upgrade or an S type upgrade. If you put another one in here, all these upgrades become invalid and do not work anymore. In your starship and in your exosuit, it's a little bit different. You can also only place three different upgrades per module. So in this case for a jetpack, I do have three S class modules in here, but you can have three additional upgrades in your general tab. Like I have one in here, a C class module that works very fine in your general tab. But if I take it and put it into the technology tab, you see that all the upgrades are now overloaded. If I take it away again and put it into my general upgrade, uh, into my general tab, then you see that this upgrade works and you can have up to three of them additionally to what you already have in your technology tab. For the modules that you get with blueprints or you buy them from the Atlas station, you can only have a single one of every type. So for example, the rocket boost is only a single time available. You can only build that once and then you put it in to wherever you want it. And this module works. Well, there is one more thing. Additionally, you already see it. We have three different colors with these uh, modules here right now. We have the life support and all the life support modules, which are blue at the moment, and the jetpack and all the jetpack modules, which are yellow. And that means these modules are connected with each other and they give you special hidden bonuses that also apply on these modules. Be sure to connect the most modules you can at one place. And then if you have three more additional upgrades that you put these three additional upgrades into another tab where they can sit on their own and also pack them together because these three modules can also benefit from each other. And that's already about it. That's uh, very easy to do. Maybe some of it is new for you that you can put in uh, different tabs, also uh, the same upgrades and they work together. It works completely. 
good. Uh, I also tried to do the jetpack modules completely separate of each other. And even that works. So it doesn't need to be connected. It's just a small little bonus. Sometimes I don't think that there is a really high bonus to that. But for example, a hyperdrive really benefits from that. So thank you so much for that. And if you are interested in other games, like for example, we're playing one that is really cool at the moment. It is called World of Warships. If you want to participate in that, I do have a link for that in the description down below. There you can get some free stuff, some cool stuff, new ships and even some cash doublons and and other things in the game check out the link in the description that helps the channel it's completely for free and it's a good game thank you so much for watching and we'll see us again on the next one bye bye